so uh, maybe I'll introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Emilia. I'm an uh, instructor from UK. Uh, I normally train with School of the Sword in Oxford, uh, but, well, I was doing it, not in Oxford, but I was doing historical martial arts for the last 19 years. First I started in Poland, then I moved to the UK. Uh, and I'm doing all the kinds of stuff from uh, Fiore Longsword to uh, one-handed Italian fencing, as well as tomahawks and, and unarmed. Uh, but today we will be looking at the Dalagokie. Uh, can you all hear me all right? Yeah, yeah? yeah. cool. Uh, <laughs> we will be looking all at Dalagokie, uh, so Bolognese side sword, so one-handed sword. Uh, and we will be looking at uh, not maybe something which you are used to, because we will be looking at the fencing uh, uh, in a way the nobles fought. Uh, Italian novels. So, uh, if you can all stand in front of me, so I can talk in one direction, but take some space as well, so you don't stand so close together, because you will need space. Uh, so, as I said, I want you to play a game with me. I want you to imagine you are dukes and duchesses in Italy, in Renaissance Italy. Uh, you, of course, want to be admired by your people, but you also want to be feared. So, we will today learn how to fence like a noble. You are not learning how to fence like a soldier or like maybe like a peasant, yes. <laughs> uh, because you want to look proud, you want to stand tall, you want to be feared and also admired. So you have your soldiers, you have your guards to fight with other people, you don't care about that. The only thing you, are, you care about is fighting other nobles in duels. So. Again, you don't want to kill them because that's, that's bad news. If you will kill your fellow noble aristocrat, probably his family won't, or her family, because again, I need to point that we are in imaginary Italy where everything is, <laughs> where everything is equal. Uh, so yeah, you don't want to kill your opponent because we are only fighting nobles, uh, but you want to wound them. and. If you can, you want to wound them in a way that it will be visible on the next ball, so you can laugh at them and your, uh, your fellow nobles can also laugh at them that you won with them. So, uh, I want you to stand up. And if you are, obviously, you are all fencers, you know how to fence, and normally we stand like that. But I want you to stand tall. Just imagine you are... Italian noble, Italian aristocrat, stand tall and with your, uh, with your fist on your hip. You can also stand like that, but that's, that's more uh, saber way. This will help you to just not slouch your, uh, your uh, shoulders. It will help you to just stand taller. Take your sword. Hmm? Tall. Imagine that you have like, I don't know, a balloon uh, <laughs> on the top of your head and you want to just stand tall like that. Mm -hmm. And right now, follow me. If I will be going uh, back, you are going forward. If I'm going forward, you are going back. Yes, that's probably a good idea. Don't, don't step on the water. <laughs> right. Stand tall with your, uh, with your uh, fist on your hip. I hope you can see me, even though I have this fancy thing on, <laughs> but it's cold. Uh, right, so if I'm going back, just look at me right now. If I'm going back, you're also going back. Remember, this foot should go first, then followed by the, by the front foot. And one more thing, because we are, uh, right now, we are not on the, uh, like, hall, so these can be quite tricky. If you are going back, 
try to have your uh, heel up. Because if you will have your heel up, that means that if there will be some stick or something, you will feel it and you won't trip over. If I will be doing something like that, that's, that's not very uh, comfortable. And also you can just uh, fall, uh, like trip over. So if I'm going back, I'm, mm -hmm. if I'm going forward, if I'm going in this direction, this foot goes here. Do I have any left handers? Of course I do. Yeah, I'm just I'm just asking so I know. Uh, and here, obviously, my if I'm going uh, on my right side, my right foot goes forward. If I'm going with the passing step, I'm going like that. Again, not like that because we are not soldiers or guards or peasants. We are going tall and proud. Yes. <laughs> So, let's try again. Footwork first. If I'm going back, you are going forward. <laughs> it's not that complicated. <laughs> no, you are not! <laughs> Come on. I can see you. <laughs> Okay, one more thing, uh, that looks good, uh, but I've seen that some of you, when you are stepping, you're stepping very close. Don't do that, try to keep the same, even though we are standing tall and not like that, try to keep the same distance between your feet when you are stepping, because if you will be stepping close, you will, again, that's that, you, it's hard to keep balance like that, right? Okay, uh, put your swords down for now. Whatever you want. Uh, right, what I want you to do now, uh, that's another, uh, that's another, let me check the time because I want you to also to do, okay, cool. Uh, so that's another of exercises which uh, is meant uh, to teach you how to walk and also acknowledge your opponents. So what I want you to do is walk around, but when you, again, like that, but when you walk around, you need to just, Acknowledge each of you, but walk around and try it. And look proud and tall. Good, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can also just curtsy or, yeah, very good. Very good front. <laughs> okay, look at me again. Next thing which I want you to do is, uh, it will be a bit harder. Right now I want you to do the same, but jump on one leg. <laughs> Whichever you want. <laughs> Okay, if you cannot do that, you can obviously also walk, but... <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> you can change the leg! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> right, very good. I like that. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, uh, my uh, another question is how many of you done Bolognese fencing before and uh, higher because I cannot see you. <laughs> Uh, and how many of you know the proper terms? Like Italian terms, uh, like stramazzone and things like that. That's fine, because I just, I just want to know so I can be more descriptive if, if I need to. Can I have a sword? Uh, 
Okay, let's get sorts. Okay, is everybody back? No, 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 please don't. <laughs> I told you, you need to survive. You are nobles, you, we don't want you dead. Yet. Uh, right, so... Uh, please. <clears throat> we'll do... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. We'll do a flow exercise. So, uh, we will be just walking and doing guards and cuts. Uh, I will show you all of them. Uh, we will do at least part of this exercise because it might be too long for, for these 15, 20 minutes we have. Uh, but remember uh, that you need to, again, look proud and just imagine uh, that after each of steps, somebody is taking photo of you because they do. <laughs> so, the first thing I want you to do is stand uh, like that with your sword in an um, imaginary sheet <laughs> by your side. Right? Good. Now we will draw our sword with and stepping with stepping the right foot forward. Remember, right foot forward. Uh, unless you are left-handed, then the other way around. So what we want to do is going with false edge up and like that. So but I stepped wrong. So <laughs> so right now. Let's do it again when I look at you. Remember, uh, with right foot forward if you are right hander. So, false edge up, cut, like that. So, uh, if you uh, have problems with doing this move, let's do some other exercise first. So, let's just stand, stand uh, like, like that and cut around. So you are drawing, think about it as drawing with the tip of your sword, uh, like this kind of a pretzel thingy. So, or, the, or like the uh, circle around your head. Good. And what I want you to do now is doing exactly that, uh, but false edge up, so that's the false edge where my knees are, uh, knees, where my knuckles are. Uh, and I want you to draw something like that here. So, again, right? Mm -hmm. Good. And remember, finish in a proper pose. So, you need to look you need to look uh, proud. And pretty. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, next move. So remember, this one is step forward. We are here. Another one will be other way around. With step with the other foot. So I will show you uh, here in a in front of you and then I will just turn uh, so you can just uh, do the same thing. So, imaginary sheet, step, step. Mm -hmm. So here. Got it? The rest? Got it? Almost? Cool. Good, good. I, I didn't expect anything else from Italian nobles. Next one. So we have these two moves. The next one will be Stremazone. So just let's, so here, here, here. So on my side, just circle with a sword, with a step again. So from the beginning, just go after me. Cool. 
uh, next move. Uh, next move will be uh, Alicorno, Guardia di Alicorno and Imbrocata. So we will be going here with Imbrocata here, but without a step. So I will do it and you can uh, just watch it and then you can follow me. So one, two, Stramazone, here step and Imbrocata, right? So now you can follow me. So from here, one cut, other cut, cut on the side, Alicorno, Imbrocata. And from Imbrocata, we want to finish here. So Imbrocata is uh, just this thrust and we want to go to, uh, uh, to guard on the side. So one more time after me. How much time do we have? 15, 10 minutes. Cool. 15, 10 minutes. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Right. So, first cut, other cut, Stramazone, and Guardia di Alicorno, Imbrocata, and we are finishing here. And from here, I want you to do another cut here. So from here, we are doing step back like that, right? Again, from the beginning. So, so first cut. Remember, front uh, front foot should be your sword hand foot. That sounds weird, but you know what I mean. Uh, another cut, Stramazone on the side, Guardia di Alicorno, Imbrocata, without a step, finishing here. And what you want to do is another cut here, Stramazone with step back, another Stramazone. You can do it, I'm sure. And cut here. Good, let's do it again. Uh, and then I will be looking again. Uh, and then I will be looking at you because I want to see what you are doing. <laughs> so, remember, each step, each move should be done in a way that you would want to see yourself on a movie or on a picture. So try, try to think about that. Right, so let's start from the beginning. Cut, cut, cut on the side. Uh, right now, Guardia di Alicorno, Imbrocata, finishing here. And right now, cut around, Stramazone, Stramazone, cut on the side. And shit yourself. Do you think you remember that? Uh, so the people who think they remember that, please step forward. And people who don't remember that, please step back. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I will still see you. I promise. I just want to people who don't remember that to see uh, to see you because. <laughs> no. You are all noble people right now. <laughs> right, so let's do it. Uh, do you want to watch me doing it in front of you or just you want me to uh, count the moves? The count, yeah? I know, I know, I know. Okay, right, so stand in the guard. Uh, not in the guard, like just stand, okay, step, step, Stramazone, Guardia di Alicorno, Imbrucata, step back, Stramazone, Stramazone, cut around, 
and sheath your sword. Beautiful. That was perfect. Again. <laughs> Again. <clears throat> right. Step. Step. Stramazone. Uh, Garde di alicorno. Imbrocata. Step back. Stramazone. Stramazone. Cut around. Sheath your sword. Again. Remember, stand tall. Cut around. Cut around. Stramazone. Uh, alicorno. Imbrocata. Step back. Stramazone. Stramazone. Cut around. Sheet your sword. The thing uh, which, that was very nice. Uh, the thing I want you to do, to remember when you are doing that, that uh, it's a flow exercise, but with this exercise, you want to stop after each move. You don't want to just go right, like that because you want to put emphasis on each uh, guard, on each, on each move, because again, maybe somebody wants to take a picture. Right, let me check the time. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and right now, uh, does the people who stand back want to go forward? <laughs> if you don't want to, you don't need to. Okay, you need to. <laughs> Sorry. If you don't want to, hide it and pretend to work. Yes, just, just pretend you know what you are doing. <laughs> it's the most Italian noble thing to do. Yeah, just smile. <laughs> uh, I've, I've seen you in the back and it looked good, so don't worry. Right, stand in the... Uh, in the... Uh, that's not the guard, but yeah, sheath your sword. Right now, uh, cut around. Perfect. Cut around. Stramazone on the side. Yep, yeah, perfect. Uh, alicorno, so imbrocata. Finish like that. Step back. Around. Stramazone. Mm -hmm. Stramazone. Cut around. Good. And she's your sword. I don't know what you want from your form because it was perfect, really. It looked very good. You looked really, really nice. So we will do it again. <laughs> right. Stand tall and proud. Right. Good. Cut around. Cut around. Stramazone, alicorno, imbrocata, without a step, sorry. Finishing here, step back, stramazone, stramazone, cut around, and sheath your sword. That was beautiful. And uh, yes, so that's how you uh, really you know, I hope that helped you to think about this fencing, not in a way you are fencing with somebody else, but to stand tall, look proud. Uh, again, remember, if you are fighting with, your, uh, with other noble, or other aristocrat, you don't want to kill them and you don't want to fight like these peasants, soldiers. So what you want to do, Fran, can I, can I borrow you? So what you want to do, just take your sword, you want to hold your sword in a proper way. So what you want to do, if you are fighting with other noble, you don't want to just stab them, that's, that's bad. What you want to do is just cut them, put like mark on, on their cheek, so the other will 
yeah. So the other will see that you won this fight. So yeah, uh, that's that's basically it. Uh, as I said, we don't have that much time, so we cannot do much else. But I hope you enjoyed being uh, <laughs> Italian aristocrat for 45 minutes. Thank <laughs> you.